So we are a week into my herb garden growing season here. Um, everything has been growing really well. Um, even my like rosemary and the lavender, which I thought were going to take a little bit longer, have little sprouts coming up. So everything looks to be pretty successful. Excuse my husband in the background. He's building a grill. Uh, yeah. Here goes. I'll give you little updates on each plant and kind of show you how they're doing, how big they are, how much they've grown. This is our catnip here, just one week later. Some good healthy sprouts coming up. Over here are two of our uh, varieties of basil. We've got the lemon drop over here and then the spicy saber over here. Um, these guys came up first and fast. Like seriously, within a couple days there were sprouts. So I'm very excited. It's kind of interesting to see um, how the different varieties grow a little bit. Or I should say maybe the seeds were more successful. I feel like there's more of the lemon drop than the spicy saber, but I guess we'll see. Over here, the um, cilantro is actually what's coming up like crazy right here. Um, parsley, so far I haven't really seen any growth. I guess I didn't look super close today. But still, this is encouraging. And then here we've got the, um, just kind of the standard basil. I think it was just a sweet basil. And then the oregano. So again, basil's growing like crazy, growing huge. The oregano has teeny tiny little growths, but a ton of them, so that's good. I just like close-ups on the green, it looks so pretty. Over here is the rosemary in time. Unfortunately, this guy either hasn't had enough air circulation, got too wet, too warm, something. There's a little bit of white mold growing over here. I've gotta look up what to do about that. If anybody has pointers, let me know. And then over here, again, rosemary, really don't, don't see any growth yet, so we'll see how that one does. The lavender is coming up a little bit here. I think by the looks of it, both varieties are growing. You can see these little sprigs coming up. It's kind of exciting. These ones actually grew a lot overnight. They were just little guys yesterday, and now I see there's already the two little leaves sprouting here. And then the spearmint also doesn't have any new growth, so I don't know. I thought spearmint was one of the ones that was supposed to grow a little bit faster, so maybe the seeds I got were duds, but we'll keep an eye out. Over here you can see this is that tall skinny planter I was talking about putting the two plants over there into, um, plus a third. Uh, my friend Anna reached out and she was like, hey, I fill the bottom of my planters with plastic bottles to fill it up. And I was like, well, I'll do you one better. We've got so many beer bottles right now in our recycling. Um, I figure the weight of the glass will probably actually be beneficial since it's kind of a tall, skinny thing. I don't want it to um, potentially topple over once I've got the top filled and the bottom kind of empty. So thank you, Anna, for the suggestion. And I forgot to update on the chives. The onion chives are coming in a lot faster than the garlic chives, but that might be normal. I'm not totally certain. I gotta research that a little bit, but these guys are coming in like crazy, so I'm quite excited. At this point, I basically have to leave everything uncovered since a majority of it has seedlings, and then um, at that point, I should say when everything gets a bit thicker, I'll be able to thin them out. So just a quick follow-up on the herbs. Um, I did look up um, the little bit of white fuzzy mold I was getting. Um, just means it needs more air circulation. So now that I've actually got greens growing in there, um, I've got it all opened up and air should be circulating through and kind of keeping all the nasties out. Um, I also think maybe that one was a little bit more wet than it should have been. Um, at this point though, I I think we now have sprouts and everything aside from um, the mint. It was spearmint that didn't have sprouts just yet. Um, I've seen some rosemary came up and then even a couple of the little parsleys came up too and those were the two that were pretty sparse before. So good news.